Jared Lindsay back at Universal Studios on a bright, beautiful, sunny Orlando morning for a another sort of like an all-day eating video. Except today, we're going to do all healthy choices, or choices that Universal advertises are healthy. Uh, we're not going to stick it to one park. We're going to kind of move around and go within the resort. The way I'm going to do is we're going to do two meals today and two meals tomorrow. I kind of want to get four places. You can hear the sunshine behind me just welcoming us. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> well, you know, it only ever seems to rain for like 20 minutes in Florida, so That's I think true. we'll be alright. Here we go! We're going to start out with some breakfast from the Today Cafe. They got a couple bowls, or breakfast bowls, that sounded really, really good. Now, we've never tried them, but we have eaten at the Today Cafe, and I do like it. Okay, well, I got overnight oats which is something. I don't eat overnight oats, but I eat oatmeal like every day. <laughs> and what we got in here is we got almond oats, or I'm sorry, old fashioned oats, almond milk, agave, chai seeds, seasonal berries, with pear, blueberries, and strawberries, some toasted coconut and toasted almond. And you got the acai bowl, which has strawberries, granola, banana, toasted coconut, and chai seeds. I thought that was chocolate at first, but that's but it's not. All right, start digging into your banana bowl there. The whole thing banana. I'll do that yeah. first. That was an interesting face you made. Take it your. Really cold. Oh, what? That's a pretty strong reaction. It's really good though. I don't think I've ever had. I don't see how any banana ever could be good, but okay. Yeah, now I'm excited because I'm a big oatmeal fan. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Tastes healthy. Cold oatmeal is a little bit weird though. I've never had a cold before. <laughs> yeah, I knew this was coming. Lindsay's gonna get to try mine and I'm not gonna get to try her nasty banana bowl. Man, that was a delicious breakfast. I'm really glad they put that in. That was a delicious breakfast. I really enjoyed it. My bowl was $6.99, the overnight oats, and Lindsay's Kai bowl was $9.99. Now, I don't know if they added sugar or anything to it, but to me it didn't taste like they did. It tasted just like regular oats, so I'm pretty happy with it. Now, these don't necessarily look like the healthiest of choices, Lindsay, but it certainly looks like something you would eat. Thank you. Time to head into Richter Burger Company for a little bit of lunch. There is a Beyond Burger there that we really want to give it a try. Okay, here we are inside the Richter Burger. That's a pretty cool looking place. It is absolutely packed in here for lunch. I think I'm gonna eat outside. A lot less noisy and chaotic out here than it was inside. And that's pretty all right, because I'd love to kind of just sit here in front of the lagoon and eat anyway. So here's what we got. We got a grilled chicken sandwich, or I'm sorry, a grilled chicken salad. That was $11.99. Oh, it's a uh, grilled chicken on some greens. First I was worried it was all iceberg lettuce, but I think I see some better lettuce in there. Kind of chintz us on the tomato. We got one tomato to share, dear. <laughs> uh -oh. And then we got the new Beyond Burger, or new to us, that comes with some kind of a plant-based vegan burger with, oh, what was the cheese? Heart Hearts, cheese. heart love cheese, something like that, and veganese. It also comes with french fries. I'm not sure how healthy the french fries are, but you know what, that's what it came with. We also got a side of guacamole to put on the burger. Now, this was a $2 upcharge. I don't really think it's $2 worth of avocados. I'm not vegan, but hey man, doesn't mean I won't eat it. You know, Lindsey Bob and Patient Pants there started eating the salad before I started filming, but go ahead and take a big old bite of that. Ooh, black olives, are you okay with black olives? I am. I know you don't like green ones. I'm eating it right now. No. Well, it's iceberg lettuce. There's some regular lettuce. There's not just iceberg lettuce. It looks like there's some little bit of romaine and some radicchio or whatever. Overall, do you like it? Cucumbers. Yes. Let's try this Beyond Burger vegan burger. Oh, that is a nice breeze, though. I like that. I don't normally eat bread. I'm really hoping that doesn't give me a problem. <laughs> That's a good burger. I've never had vegan veganese before, but I think I like it better than mayonnaise. <laughs> That's really tasty. Yeah. And the burger, the 
as far as the burger itself, it tastes not exactly like a regular hamburger, obviously, but it tastes similar. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like, the guac's pretty good, but that's extra. <laughs> So I finished my vegan burger and I helped Lindsay finish her chicken salad. And man, I can tell you, I was really impressed with that Beyond Burger. I'm kind of regretting the fact that I ate the bun, but I don't know. I don't normally, <laughs> I don't normally eat bread, but I really, really wanted to try the Beyond Burger because I've heard a lot about the burger itself. And like I said, I'm not vegan, but I mean, I think you gotta be open to trying things. Lunchtime, we're gonna head into the Monsters Cafe because I had recently discovered what I consider a pretty healthy lunch. Frankenstein, greet us, right at the entrance. My youngest son's favorite classic monster. Picture from the Black Lagoon. That is a really cool display. That's a better figure of him than the one that they have over in the Universal Classic Monsters uh, gift shop. Here, peeking through the trees, we have Creighton Tall Chaney as the Wolfman. Ooh. He's a little bit hard to see in the trees, huh? Don't you think, Lindsay? You could probably uh, move that branch a little bit out of his face. Wolfman's my favorite classic monster. Do you have a favorite classic monster, Lindsay? I can't pick a favorite. Uh. Alright, well I know what you're doing when we get home. Sitting over here in the mummy section of the Monster Cafe and I got a Creature from the Black Lagoon salad of beef brisket, kale, egg, tomato. I've gotten this before. I really like it. It's an excellent salad. And Lindsay got the mummy. It's a vegan option. With, it's like fried jackfruit. Uh, some coleslaw and onion straws on a Kaiser roll. And for her side, she got some Brussels sprouts. Real excited. I don't know how healthy it is if you put that barbecue sauce on it, dear. So how was your mummy? Take a big old bite of that thing. I saw you picking at the jackfruit. I was trying to see what it tasted like by itself. Is it good? You like it? It's weird. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not my favorite. It's not your favorite. I was thinking this was going to be your absolute favorite of all time the first time you ever tried it. What in the heck? What do you think? I like, the, I like the coleslaw on there. Now, I don't necessarily consider a sandwich healthier eating because I don't eat buns or bread. I like them. They don't like me. Well, you're a little messy. I don't know if it's the sandwich's fault. I'm gonna try your jackfruit. I'm curious. <laughs> it's hard to get. Oh, that's different. I think I really like that. The jackfruit. I like it. I think it has an interesting taste. It does almost kind of taste kind of like meat for a second. Right. <laughs> really, or the sauce they put on it or something. I like that. I'm going to try your Brussels sprouts too. Even though you didn't. Those are good. I really like Brussels sprouts. I do too. They're That's why I picked crispy. them. They look like, I thought they were going to be mushy because they kind of looked mushy, but they're not. They're good and crispy. Yep, and then I got these Parmesan packets I'm going to toss on there. Does that negate the healthy... Uh... No, Parmesan cheese should be fine. How about that salad? I love this salad. I haven't tried it yet, but look, I got a pretty good amount of brisket. Yeah, now, I know. Oh, they put the dressing on there. Ooh. That probably would have got it without the ranch. It would have I thought it was gonna be on the side. I thought side. you had ranch on it last time. I did, but I don't usually have ranch on my salads. Usually like olive oil or something. Right. Oh well. <laughs> That's a lot. It's too much ranch. Yeah, they put way too much in there. <laughs> That's really good. Got some spinach and... I don't think they gave me kale this time. Last time it was a kale salad. I thought it was supposed to be kale. I thought it was kale and mixed greens, but... Oh no, there's some kale there. It's buried in all the ranch they put in. Oh! So, this is a really good salad, but whoever made it today, way too much ranch. <laughs> 
ride of Frankenstein I'm back here in the Frankenstein area. Frankenstein's castle? Frankenstein's monster area. I don't know. There's some really cool stuff back here. Do, 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 do. I love the theme of this restaurant. You know, they got TVs all throughout here playing the different little clips of classic monster movies. You check out that bust of Frankenstein. Or Frankenstein's monster, rather. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> I like those shackles on that one. Ooh, the Bride of Frankenstein bust. Dude, it is hot. Oh my goodness, is it hot out here today. What's that? Blinded and hot. So yeah, man, that salad, way too ranchy. What in the world? They ruined it. I probably should have asked for a different one, but I don't know. I didn't feel like it. I liked Lindsay's jackfruit sandwich. She says uh, it was good, but she doesn't care for the taste. So I'm not really sure that, that means it's good, but <laughs> that was the verdict. All right, time for some healthy dinner at the Cowfish. This is my favorite restaurant at the City Walk. Hey, how about this, Lindsay? Look at this view. Wow, I love it. So while we know sushi is healthy, we're currently trying to find the healthiest sushi option that we can depict for the evening. So we're doing a little research. Man, it is so loud in here. What is going on? <laughs> really crank music at night. So normally when we would come here, I'd get a burger because they have the best burgers here at Cowfish. But hey, we're making healthier choices today. So we're gonna get some sam or some uh, sushi. Unfortunately, the sushi is also kind of pricey. So what we got here is the California roll, which has avocado, some cucumber, fish roe, and crab in it. Mm. I'm gonna admit I have no idea what that is. And then that's wasabi. <laughs> Here's our vegetarian roll, which is cucumber, asparagus, uh, avocado. We come to yours. What did you get? A tropical storm. Which is what it, you got crab, avocado, cucumber, some tuna. I think there's like salmon, yellowtail. That's what this orange stuff is. All right, let's see this tropical roll. Don't judge me, I can't do this very well. Uh, dude, neither can I. Oh, you broke it apart. Yeah. You're terrible. No. <laughs> Fresh and sweet. Fresh and sweet? Not really sweet, but just enough sweet. No spice? It, I think it was advertising a little bit of spice and you were worried about it. I was, but it's not spicy at all. How's it going over there? Ah, not that great. I don't know how to use chopsticks at all. That's okay, neither do I. sushi now it's gonna give me a big problem because I'm not gonna know whether I should get a burger next time I come here or the sushi man that was delicious yeah man I'm absolutely loving this view from up top of cowfish also glad they quit blasting the music so much well that was really enjoyable I'm pretty happy with all our healthy food choices for the today or healthier food choices I guess right you can only do so much in the theme park but I think we made good decisions yeah um, I'm a new super fan of sushi, I can tell you that. <laughs> that was really good. And I don't feel uh, bloated or gross or anything. I think the only thing that I was slightly disappointed or upset with was the Black Lagoon salad. Now I love that salad, I've gotten it before, but today, man, it's 
French that thing in ranch dressing, so I guess I'll give you a tip there. Either ask for the dressing on the side, which is what I thought they usually do, or just tell them to go light. But other than that, man, I was happy with everything. So thanks for watching.